He never fails. Hallelujah. Tonight we can change all of that. Make up your mind, people of God. If the music was to stop now, what will happen? If the trumpet was to sound now, where will you go? Would you want to go to heaven? Or would you want to go to hell? All the things that the devil gives you, that he makes you do, is because he's interested in your soul, not because he loves you. There's only one person that his love is unconditional, and that is Jesus Christ. And that's why he left glory, left all the riches, and came down on earth to show us that after death, there's still another way. That death is not the end. That after death, you can still have life and have it more everlasting. We are not in this world by accident. The success or failure of your life depends on you because he gives us free will. He will not force you. He will not drag you. He would only show you his love. And if you are wise tonight, you will accept it. If you think you will keep sinning and you see the kingdom of God, I tell you tonight it is a lie. The devil has made you believe that. But do you know tomorrow, does anybody seated here can stand up confidently and tell me that you know what will happen to you tomorrow? But yet, we're in the world playing with his name, making a caricature of his name. You say you're a Christian, but you are the one that found in the beer parlor. You say you're a Christian, you are dating a married man. You say you're a Christian, you're living with somebody that's not your wife, somebody that's not your husband. Let the church wake up. We need to return to him tonight. If you have not received him, I want you to receive him tonight. And watch how your life will change. Even people around you will see a difference. That demon that is always coming to attack you. Be washed. And as you're sleeping, fire is all around you. We need to return to him tonight. Because without him, there is no other. He is the first. He will surely be the last. Because I don't know of any religion, any tribe, any race, where at the name of Jesus, they will not bow. No other power has that authority. The devil has counterfeits. He doesn't have what Jesus Christ has. Jesus is the original. If you do not know him tonight, I want you to open your heart. Do not be hardened. Do not be strong. Do not be ashamed. Because why? He was not ashamed of you and I. He was not ashamed of me. He came down and in public, he died on the cross. They pierced his hands, pierced his sides in front of thousands. This was the same person who could have easily commanded them and all of them would have fallen down dead. But because he wanted to show you and I that death is not the end, he died. And when he died, he said it was finished. But why is the church, why are some of us going through what we are going through? We are only interested in him, in the miracles, in the deliverance that he can give. When they say, praise the Lord, some of you find it hard to say hallelujah. When it is time to worship, some of you are sleeping. What an unthankful generation. I am the one, the voice in the wilderness crying. <laughs> Prepare the way of the Lord. Because he's coming. When he comes, where will he find you? Is he going to find you in the club? Is he going to find you worshiping him? and thanking him for what we have done. We are an ungrateful generation, unthankful, busters, deceiving yourself 
and you think you're deceiving the church of God, the remnant is drastically reducing because we are compromised. But God will help us tonight. The veil that the devil has put on anybody's face here will be removed. And Jesus Christ will make himself manifest. Hallelujah. Are you the prodigal son? Are you the prodigal daughter? Are you the prodigal man? Are you the prodigal woman? He is here waiting to receive you with open arms. Arms that will not judge you. Just like the prodigal son's father, he will not ask you where you have been. He will only welcome you. What do we have to do to get to that place? We have to repent of our sins. Because Jesus said, unless you repent, you will perish. The Bible, the Word of God, has all the answers to the questions and to the problems of your life. We may not always understand the twists and the turns of life, but we are rest assured of one thing. I am rest assured of one thing, that because I have Jesus, I would defeat. Because I have Jesus, I will be a winner. Because I have Jesus, I will be a conqueror. By faith, you must receive him into your heart. You must be willing to pray, to witness, to study your Bible. Because for every time you study your Bible, you will find keys that will change your life. Don't be surprised that when you want to pray, that is when your phone is ringing. When you want to pray, that is when they are showing one nice movie on TV. All is just to get you away from the word of God. That bad friend that is constantly dragging you. Let's go to this place. Stay away from them. Because the devil is using them to drag you away from God. Let us change our heart. Can he look down from heaven and look at us and say, yes, they were worth it. Or will he look down and he'll be crying. Or will Jesus weep for love that he's giving freely? He's not asking you to kill a chicken. He's not asking you to kill a cow. He's not asking you to bring money. All you have to do is bring yourself and see the miracle that will happen in your life. See the miracle that will happen in your life. If you do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I beg you tonight, there might not be a second chance. There are so many bodies in the mortuary, so many in the grave. Does anybody seated here want to tell me that you know when anything will happen? I do not know when it will happen. You do not know when it will happen. Because every time they say Jesus Christ will come, you do not believe it. Why? Because your path is not right with God. But tonight, he will open our eyes and we'll see that without him there is no other. Jabez cried unto God that thou will keep me from harm so that I will be free from pain. And God granted his request. I'm holding a 1,000 naira note in front of me here. The value of money never goes down. Even when I squeeze it and I open it back, can I still spend it? I need the people of God to answer me. Will I still be able to spend it? If I match it like this and I take it up, will I be able to spend it? If I squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, and it passes from one house to the other to the other, will I still be able to spend it? That is how we, the people of God, are. The Bible says, though the righteous fall seven times, it rises again. The value will never go down. And so no matter what you are going through, no matter what you will go through, your value will still be the same. As long as you know him. I might squeeze it, but his value is still the same. I might match it, 
but the value is still the same. I might throw it away, come back and pick it. I'll still be able to spend it. So don't think I used to know him before and he didn't help me. Don't think like that. Because even though they squeeze you like this, even though they gather to bring you down, even when they reject you, even when they say there's no tomorrow for you, even when you have lost your job, even when you have no husband, even when you have no money, your value is still the same. People of God, people of God, that's why I always sing the song, he's a God, he's not a man. I sing that song with love, with passion. Because if men were God, people like me, people like some of us, would not be able to enter in. But when he died and he said it was finished, the veil was torn. So that everybody can come into and receive. I don't care what the devil has told you in your heart. I don't care the gang up. I don't care that you're lacking. But know this and know it also, that with God all things are possible. With God all things are possible. Jesus Christ is standing here. He's waiting for you tonight with open arms. Receive him and testify. Hallelujah. If you're seated here tonight and you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ, as your Lord and Savior. I want you to come out tonight. Put the devil to shame. Say, I'm no more interested in you. I want to try the original power. I want to try the original power. He wasn't ashamed though. In no shame. On top cross, now he died. In front of thousands. You don't care what's in the column. If you're seated here, you don't know him. This is another voice crying in the wilderness. Come forward and accept him. Do not be ashamed. If you have not heard the, the name of Jesus before, you have heard it again. There's no excuse. If you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ, cry to him tonight. Be like Jabez, cry unto him and see if he will not come down and rent his angers on your enemies and destroy them for you. He's calling you tonight. He's saying, I love you. I want to forgive you. I want to protect you. But you must come to me. If your heart is hardened tonight, I pray it doesn't remain hardened for long. Because with Jesus, with Jesus, there is liberty. With him, there is freedom. Ha. With him, there is restoration. Release them! Release them! I speak! 
speak in the name of the Most High God. Every powers holding them, I say release them. Release them tonight. Release them tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Rakarebo sekerebo shatahaya. Sekolobo senderebo kahata. Sekandala bakata. Release them. Release them. Release them. Release them. Release them to the Most High God. He is the owner of their lives. Release them. I command every powers holding the people of God from coming out tonight. Release them. Release them. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are powers holding people seated here. The Spirit of God is ministering to me. If you're seated here, do not harden your heart. Come out. Be a Muslim. Be whoever you are. Come out tonight. Come out. Do not harden your heart. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, your people are before you. Release them. Father, Lord, go into the altar. Release them. Remove them. Release them. Release them. Release them. Release them. Release them. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every powers holding any man or woman here who should be here confessing Jesus Christ. Lord, help them. Lord, help them. Lord, help them. Lord, help them to come to the knowledge of you. Come out. You are God, you are not a man, oh. You are God, you are not a man, oh. Alpha and Omega, you are God. Hey. You are God, oh. You are God. 